Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division battle. much every time out in the UFC DC this man has put on a striking clinic and that is his methodology coming in here tonight he'll try to keep the fight on the field and that's why we tune in right that's why we tune in we tune in to see guys that are dynamic we tune in for the speed we tune in for the knowledge of the striking game the ability to set traps the ability to find the jab the ability to find the right hand the right kick the left kick the knees the elbows he truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, good to the rules of the lock, man. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your claws. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Watch the shot. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Good punch. Lee 
his cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Just over three minutes to go now. Keep busy, guys. Keep busy. Still nice body kick land. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Circling to his right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Big body kick. Cliff's on the elbow. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice head kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Nice, nice. 20 seconds left. Big kick land. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Wait. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. He's in trouble. He hurt bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, nice jab. Nice leg kick land. Just a slip there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Checks that leg kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Ooh. Beautiful 
kick. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight since both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the body to get ahead, but they both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Let's go, set the pace. There, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Big head kick. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. It's not over. It's not over. Keep moving. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds nice kick oh just out of range with that right hand slips the punch he loaded up there on that high kick Cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missing on the high kick there. Watch knees to the body. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Get back out here and work on that cut. The slice be open good. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish on it. Ready? Ready? Go fight that. Right hand landed. Oh, big punch land. Came 
couple of inches right there, that boy. Lost. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful leg kick boy. Great punch landed with so much power. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. What a tricky head kick. It's such a fast leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Misses with that punch. It's very tricky. Check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big knee there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Get him 
whip his hip into that kick. Good punch land. Slips the punch. Less than a minute now to go in the round. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. <laughs> Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Big head kick. Time, what a time, fight! Time. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 49 46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best.